the Ministry of Islamic Affairs, Enjoyment, Dawa, and Guidance in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia present Hajj Step by Step. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك وإذ بوأنا لإبراهيم مكان البيت ألا تشرك بي شيئا وطهر بيتي للطائفين والقائمين والركع السجود وأذن في الناس بالحج يأتوك رجالا وعلى كل ضامر وعلى كل ضامر يأتين من كل فج عميق Makkah is the city where the ancient house Kaaba is located. It is the destination to which all Muslims all over the world set out. People head towards submissiveness five times a day. In their prayers, Muslims have been coming to from every deep and distance mountain highway to perform the ritual of pilgrimage since the time when it was built by the Prophet Ibrahim. The rituals of pilgrimage are performed in response to the order of Almighty Allah that people shall be called to perform these rituals in the ancient house which is the first place assigned for worshipping Almighty Allah, worshipping based on knowing pure from every misconception and from all the aspects of paganism. Almighty Allah set a specific time when humanity would flourish again with truthful religion, Islam. That time come with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam being sent to lead mankind out of darkness of disbelief and polytheism into the light of belief in the oneness of Allah and Islamic monotheism. He was sent to clarify what is right and what is wrong, to teach mankind what is worshipping and how it is performed on divine basis and to enlighten mankind on the ultimate truth of this universe that Almighty Allah had created the jinn and mankind that they should worship only Him. سمع الله لمن حمد ربنا ولك الحمد Pillars of Islam It is narrated in sound tradition hadith that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him stated Islam is built on five pillars testifying that there is none worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah establishing the prayers giving the zakat and fasting the month of Ramadan and making the pilgrimage to the house of Allah the Kaaba in the prophetic tradition it is clearly stated the pilgrimage is one of the pillars that a person who has the ability to perform it has to act according otherwise he or she does not fulfill his or her religion islam as appreciate that is to say a servant's religion is incomplete without it the fifth pillar of islam is making pilgrimage to the house of allah the kaaba pilgrimage is a religious duty that must be carried out at least once in a lifetime by every full-grown able-bodied muslim provided that he or she can offer to do it millions of peoples go to the holy places to make easier pilgrimage or the lesser pilgrimage umrah every year to facilitate both the king of saudi arabia urged the government to take measures 
for the purpose of providing the best level of services as needed by the commerce who are intending to perform such rituals. The government of the kingdom acted accordingly by dedicating all means available in terms of financial and human resources. For this purpose, all ministries as well as other governmental institutions are instructed to serve these guests. Their safety and comfort are of high priority. A pilgrim is no question protected by Almighty Allah. The kingdom, however, act as one of the means of this protection. It can be noticed that there are many institutions, programs and services established for the purpose of ensuring that safety and comfort of the comers for pilgrimage. You comer for pilgrimage should never hesitate to make use of these services. You are most welcome in Saudi Arabia and the land of the two holy mosques. The Kinds of Hajj Pilgrimage Hajj has three forms, rituals, known as Nusk. Each form has its distinctive features and practice by which they are performed, being performed in accordance with such ways pilgrimage would be correct. The rituals of pilgrimage are as follows. Enjoyment pilgrimage means tamatto. Combined pilgrimage means Quran. Isolated pilgrimage means Ifrad. The most virtuous one among the mentioned above could be enjoyment pilgrimage, especially in case in which the pilgrim does not offer a sacrifice. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, encouraged his followers to perform enjoyment pilgrimage, means Tamatto. In the enjoyment pilgrimage, Tamatto, a pilgrim wear the costume of ihram for Umrah only. During the month of pilgrimage, which means when a pilgrim reaches Mecca, he or she makes the waf, mean circling, and say, hazing for Umrah. Then hair is to be shaved or clipped on the eight of the Hajjah. A pilgrim put on his ihram for pilgrimage, goes to the scared monument and carries out all of its requirements, offering a sacrifice is obligatory, mean wajib. Having been unable to offer a sacrifice, a pilgrim has to fast three days during the period of his pilgrimage and seven days after returning home. In combined pilgrimage, mean Quran, a pilgrim wears ihram for both Umrah and pilgrimage and he wears ihram for Umrah and Hajj. Example, he assumes ihram with the intention near to accomplish both of them saying, ويقول لبيك عمرة وحجة. Here I am at your service. Here I am for Hajj and Umrah. After the performing and the tawaf and say for Umrah, a pilgrim should remain in the state of ihram. On the eighth of Dhul Hajjah, a pilgrim goes to the sacred monument and carries out the other rituals which consist of two, Umrah and Hajj. An exception is made here which is that he does not perform say because of the fact that it has been already performed. After the arrival, Tawaf means circling, offering a sacrifice is obligatory. Having been unable to offer a sacrifice, a pilgrim has to fast three days during the period of his pilgrimage and seven days after returning home. Isolated In isolated pilgrimage, mean ifrad, a pilgrim wear ahram for pilgrimage only upon reaching Miqat. A pilgrim assumes ahram with the intention near to accomplish Hajj only. When he reaches Mecca, he performs Sawaf for his arrival and say for pilgrimage. He remains in Ihram till finishing all the rituals of Hajj. Offering a sacrifice is not obligatory because of the fact that a pilgrim in isolated pilgrimage does not combine between Hajj and Umrah. Enjoyment pilgrimage is the most virtuous form of pilgrimage comes after the combined pilgrimage 
and the last one is the isolated pilgrimage. Ahram Station posts Dear brother in Islam, having the intention means near to go to Mecca for the purpose of performing Hajj. You should assume Ahram from one of the assigned points as Miqat which were specified by the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. These Ahram station posts are Zulhulayfa, the Miqat of population of Medina, known nowadays as Abiyar Ali. al Jahufa, the Miqat of population of Sham, means Egypt, Syria and other countries located near the city of Rabih, from which Ahram is assumed nowadays. Qarnul Manazil, the Miqat of population of Najd nowadays as Al Sail Al Kabir. Yelamlam, the Miqat of population of Yemen from Al Saadiyya nowadays population assume Ahram. And the Zatul Iraq, the Miqat of population of Iraq. As for the population of Mecca, they assume Ahram for Hajj in Mecca and Ahram for Umrah from an area called Tanaim, otherwise from any area at the border of the Holy Mosque, Haram. Jeddah population should similarly assume Ahram from Jeddah itself. On the other hand, he who passes through these signed points intending to perform either Hajj or Umrah should assume Ahram from those areas. Having deliberately passed the assigned point, a pilgrim should return to it. Otherwise, he and she should offer a sacrifice in Mecca and distribute it for the poor people in Mecca. Upon reaching Amikat, for travelers on land, one should perform a ghusl, take a ritual shower, apply perfume as practicable and assume ahram wearing the ahram, two white sheets, one for the upper and one for the lower part of the party. The women should keep all their body except the face covered in their normal Islamic clothing. The intention of ahram for Umrah should assumed with saying, O oh Allah, I am present for Umrah. As for those who travel on a ship or a plane, captains or pilot usually announce when they are approaching or passing a beam. These assigned points of Miqat. Pilgrims prepare themselves for assuming Ahram accordingly. A pilgrim may wear Ahram costume at the home keeping it until they reach Mecca as a sign of starting the rituals of Hajj. Pilgrims should recite Talbiya. Men recite it loudly but not women. <laughs> والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك Impermissible acts while in ihram Upon assuming ihram with saying O oh Allah here I am present for Hajj and Umrah. A pilgrim imposes himself into a state in which he is not allowed to practice any act that is impermissible whilst in Hajj. These impermissible acts included he should not cause the loss of any his hair or nails, having accidentally or out of forgetfulness done. Any of these it would be unobjectionable. He should not perfume himself, his clothing, his food or his drink. After being in the state of Ahram, there is no harm in what remains of the effect of perfume used prior to Ahram. He should not hunt or act in such a way that would result in hunting through other means or persons. 
a person in the state of ahram as well as person who is not should not cut a tree in any form which is within the area of haram all green plants growing with no effort made by man in haram are prohibited he should not pick up a found article except for the purpose of notifying its owner or people concerned he should not be weighed or proposed to a woman for himself or others he shouldn't touch kisses and other things like that his spouse out of passion and even even worse shouldn't have sexual intercourse women should not cover their faces with burqas and niqabs nor should they wear gloves except in case in which men are present they must cover their faces he cannot cover his head with something that touches it either with using ihram although there is no harm in the use of an umbrella the roof of car or tent for shit had he used ihram or any cloth to cover his head accidentally he should remove it upon realizing that he cannot wear a shirt turban hooded cloak trousers shoes or the like nothing that is stitched only if he is unable to obtain an azar or sandal can he wear trousers or shoes instead sandals rings belt belt with pocket used for money or papers hat phone may to be used by a pilgrim changing the cloth of ahram and cleaning them are permissible as well showering the head or body is presumable having some hair lost in the act provided that it is not deliberate is a permissible act being injured is not impermissible there is no such as specific prayers for pilgrim in ahram as suggested by some people a person performing hajj or umrah should perform all prayers in collective prayers all prayers should be performed as as supposed he or she should avoid committing sins and any act of disobedience like any other muslim who is not in ahram circumambulation of kaaba upon arriving makkah a pilgrim should perform ghusl means take a ritual shower entering into the mosque he should step with the right foot reciting somehow not loudly a'udhu billahi al-azim wa wajhihi al-karim wa sultanihi al-qadim min ash-shaytan ar-rajim allahumma iftah li abwaaba rahmatik o allah i seek refuge from satan I ask you to grant me your mercy. This dua is applicable when entering any mosque. A pilgrim should enter the mosque heading to the holy house, means Kaaba, to start the tawaf. Al Istiba is the state in which a man keeps his right shoulder uncovered, passing the white sheet that he wears. Blow his right armpit, making the two ends meet on his left shoulder. One complete circuit around the kaaba constitutes a shawat and seven shawat complete one tawaf tawaf should start from a beam the black stone means hajr e aswad having away the black stone a pilgrim should kiss it practicable provided that he does not hurt other people by some acts like pushing hitting or causing such acts are wrong and reasons for harm to others A pilgrim may point to the black stone from a distance saying Allah is the greatest mean Allahu akbar then starts tawaf during tawaf a pilgrim should engage in the remembrance of Allah and dua the recital of the holy quran is also available it should be ensured that the voice is not raised as this would cause disturbance to others Reaching the Yaminit corner means Rukn Yamani, a pilgrim may touch nouns as Islam, it without doing any further acts of kissing or seeking, it's blazing, as acted by some personnel who in reality act in contradiction to what the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did being unable to touch or point at the Yaminit corner means Rukn Yamani, 
Apple Graham may pass saying Allah is the greatest without even pointing at it. It is Sunnah that pilgrim when passing between the black stone and Yemenit corner says ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار Our Allah give us in this world that which is good and the hereafter that which is good and save us from the torment of the fire A pilgrim should complete seven shawat means circle starting and ending with the black stone means hajr aswat Al-Ramal is a sunnah during the first three shawat of the arrival tawaf. Al-Ramal is the act of walking with short and quick steps. There are some common mistakes committed by some peoples during tawaf. The following are some of these mistakes. Passing through Al-Hijr area while this act makes it invalid tawaf should be a full circle from outside. The holy house and Al-Hijr is a part of Kaaba. He would be doing tawaf around a part of Kaaba. Istilam means touching all the corners and walls of Kaaba seeking its blazing through such acts of touching the walls, curtains or door of Kaaba. Even Maqam Ibrahim, the act of all of which is prohibited for it is an innovated practice rising wise in dua during tawaf it would cause disturbance of others moments coming to area crowded with men this occurs certainly near the black stone and maqam ibrahim the first thing that a pilgrim should do after tawaf is to cover his right shoulder which is exposed it is sunnah and emphasized one that a pilgrim prayers to unit raka of prayer behind maqam ibrahim if practicable otherwise any other place would be an objectionable it is preferred to read in these two prayer units surah al-fatiha and surah al-kafirun in the first unit and surah al-fatiha and surah al-ikhlas in the second unit Hazing, what is Asa'i? After Tawaf, the person who is making Aithir Hajj or Umrah goes as Safa to perform Sa'i, completing seven laps, a lap mean going from Al Safa to Al Marwa or vice versa. Upon reaching As Safa, a pilgrim should start Sa'i in accordance with the verse In As Safa wal Marwa min Sha'air Allah. فمن حج البيت أو اعتمر فلا جناح عليه أن يتطوف بهما ومن تطوع خيرا فإن الله شاكر عليم Verily Al-Safa and Al-Marwa two mountains in Mecca are the symbols of Allah so it is not a sin on him who perform Hajj or Umrah pilgrimage of the house the Kaaba at Mecca to perform the going tawaf between them Al-Safa and Al-Marwa and whoever does good voluntarily then verily allah is all recognizer all knower a pilgrim then should climb as safa facing kaaba while is facing the kaaba both hands should be raised up to the shoulders in the manner of dua he or she should be says praise be to allah allah is creator thrice La ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu anjaza wa'dahu wa nasara 'abdahu wa hazama al-ahzab wahdahu There is none worthy of being worshiped but Allah he is one and has no partner his is the kingdom and all praises is due to him and he is all powerful This invocation should be repeated thrice. He then should continue to a thicker invocation may be made for oneself or others. A pilgrim may perform a minimum of dua. Hands should not be raised except in dua. Hands should not be used for pointing when saying Allah is creator means takbir. This is one of common mistakes that are committed by pilgrim. A pilgrim goes down from As-Safa heading towards Al-Marwa, walking and continues praying, doing invocation for himself, his family and all Muslim. 
When pilgrims reach the place marked with green lights, men should start running fast somehow. Women are excluded from running, then again should resume the usual pace when reaching the second green light. This should be done as stated until reaching Al Marwa, where a pilgrim should face Kaaba and do what is done of Dua and Thikr. On As Safa, after Dua and Thikr, a pilgrim goes down Al Marwa. Walking to the place marked with green lights means should start running fast somehow. Women are excluded from running, then again should resume the usual piece. When reaching the second green light, this is done until reaching as -Safa. Going from as to Al-Marwa is a lap. A pilgrim should seven lap. A pilgrim starts his sa'i walking having felt tired or unable to complete his sa'i by walking. He may complete on a wheelchair or carried by some other means. Menstruation women and women experiencing postnatal discharge may perform sa'i, but not tawaf, because of the fact that the area of sa'i is not a part of the area of mosque. One of the common mistakes of committed in sa'i is the act of women being running between the two green lights. Upon the completion of sa'i, pilgrim performing enjoyment pilgrimage should either shave or trim the hair of the entire head. Women should trim nearly a fingertip length, just over an inch of their hairs. With this act, pilgrims relinquish their ahram. Acts that are especially impermissible for ahram are presumable after such relinquishment. Eighth of Tulhaj it is sunnah for pilgrim making enjoyment combined or isolated pilgrimage to live for Mina on the 8th of Tulhaj, the day of Tarwiya. Pilgrim should move to Mina before the time when the sun declines before al dhuhr prayers. Should perform all prayers in Mina on time. Taking into account the prayers of four unit should be performed in the form of the shortened prayers. People from Mecca and people from other areas are all equal in this rule. This is the day and night are spent in Mina, praying Al-Fajr of the following day, the ninth and also after sunrise. Pilgrims should set off for Arafat and route they should recite Talbiya and engage other forms of worshipping means Zikr and saying Allah is the creature means Takbir. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك What is Talbiya? When is it performed? A person making Hajj or Umrah should attend in reciting Talbiya as much as one could do. In Umrah, it should be recited during the period from Ihram to beginning of Tawaf. In Hajj, it should be recited during the period from the beginning of Great Stoning, Al Jamra, to the morning of Eid. Talbiya is the instance in which a pilgrim says, here I am at your service, O oh Allah, here I am, no partner do you have, here I am truly, the praise and the favor are yours, and the dominion, no partner do you have. Ninth of Dhul Hajj This day is described by the Prophet Muhammad as the most virtuous day. Pilgrims move all to the mountain of Arafat, where they spend the whole day from sunrise till sunset. It is sunnah that a pilgrim goes to Nimra as practicable or otherwise ensure being within the area of Arafat mountain. Many marks are made available to ensure being within the area of Arafat mountain. Arafat is all a stent. 
on this day you pilgrim should ensure filling your time with reciting talbiyah you should engage in worship azkar tasbih takbir mean allah is greater and dua for yourself for your family and your friend as well as the whole nation at the noon time an imam gives a speech in which he preaches people guiding them to the right path pilgrims then pray ad-duhur and al-asr in combination each in the shortened form no prayer should be performed either before or after a pilgrim should avoid the mistakes that would risk having his or her pilgrim being unaccepted the mistakes commonly committed by the pilgrims included the following being outside the area of arafat staying there till the sunset and then going to muzdalifa leaving arafat before the sunset which is not halal causing arafat to be crowded pushing others for the purpose of reaching the highest point in arafat we are blazing mid be sought this is an innovative practice it is wrong for they are being causing harm to the others as well facing arafat during dua instead of facing kaaba means qibla allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-kufr wal-faqr wa min 'adhab al-qabr la ilaha illa ant allahumma anta rabbi لا اله الا انت خلقتني وانا عبدك وانا على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعت اعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت وابوء لك بنعمتك علي وابوء بذنبي فاغفر لي انه لا يغفر الذنوب الا ان ليس عليكم جناح ان تبتغوا فضلا من ربكم فاذا افضتم من عرفات فاذكروا الله عند المشعر الحرام واذكروه كما هداكم وان كنتم من قبله لمن الضالين ثم افيضوا من حيث افاض الناس واستغفروا الله ان الله غفور رحيم مزدلفه after the sunset of ninth day of the hajj pilgrims moved to muzdalifa where the prayer al maghrib and al isha one call of prayer is made for both prayers each prayers however has its own second call of prayer before it iqama is made twice al isha prayers is performed in combination with al maghrib isha is prayed in its shortened form prayers are performed upon arrival pilgrims spend their night in muzdalifa being engaged in talbiya and azkar they should that thank almighty allah for granting them a great chance in their life which is being present at the place on that day when pilgrims reach muzdalifa some of them commit some mistakes which should be pointed out in this context one of the most remarkable mistake is that some pilgrims are equipped with picking up pebbles prior to performing prayers prayers should be given priority it is mistakenly thought however that pebbles to be thrown in hajj should be picked up from muzdalifa it is sunna that pilgrims spend their night in muzdalifa leaving it after the al fajr prayer as for women weak people and children they might go to mina during the last hour of the night having prayed al fajr a pilgrim may stand the scared monument or otherwise anywhere else within muzdalifa where he face kaaba and engage in zikr takbir and dua as practicable he then goes to pick up pebbles that would be used for throwing pebbles stoning jamra pilgrims should collect seven pebbles larger than peas to pell the greater jamra means jamratul aqaba and move to mina in submissiveness engaged in talbiya and zikr in mina a pilgrim mit pick up the 
rest of pebbles upon arriving mina a pilgrim goes to the great chamra means chamra al aqaba which is the nearest one to mecca talbiya is recited no longer at this place a pilgrim perform stoning chamra means throw pebbles in quick succession saying allah is greater with each one and then offer a sacrifice when needed slaughtering is eating from his sacrifice and feeding the poor from it as well a man should shave or trim his hair shaving however is much more virtuous a woman should trim nearly a fingertip length just over an inch of their hair these procedures should be followed as ordered here having done one before the other it would not be a mistake however allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar la Tenth of the Hajj. Muslim all over the world and Mina in specific celebrate this day on which their delight is remarkable for receiving all the blessing and gifts from Almighty Allah. They offer their sacrifices seeking love of Almighty Allah. A project is a project is established in Saudi Arabia with the objective of making use of flesh of sacrifices. A pilgrim may depend on this project to fulfill this requirement. During stoning chamra, there are many mistakes which are committed by pilgrims, among which the following are noticed. Number one, some people think that they are throwing pebbles to Satan, which is wrong. So they are throwing pebbles, showing their anger and hatred for devils. Throwing pebbles has the purpose of being engaged in zikr. Number two, instead of throwing pebbles, some people mistakenly throw larger stones, shoes, and pieces of wood, which is wrong, as it shows a manner of immoderation. Number three. causing crowdness and hitting others for the purpose of throwing pebbles are both wrong a pilgrim should act passionately with others and should ensure aiming at the correct area which is the inside the container whether the pillars is hit or not number 4 throwing all pebbles at once is wrong acting in such a manner means that a pilgrim has thrown only one pebble a pilgrim is supposed to throw pebbles in quick succession engaged in takbir with each one on rush encompassing tawaf al ifada at this point all the rituals mentioned above have been performed the regulation of ihram no longer the pilgrim cannot have conjugal relation with his or her spouse until after tawaf al ifada he or she may wear their usual cloth but cannot have halal sexual intercourse tawaf al ifada is obligatory for and rukun of hajj and therefore there is no jaza in lieu of it that is without this tawaf hajj would not be complete a pilgrim making enjoyment pilgrimage should perform sa'i after tawaf al ifada had a pilgrim not performed sa'i before as should be in combined and isolated pilgrimage he or she should perform sa'i after tawaf al ifada tawaf al ifada may be subject to to postponing to a later time after the days of mina and in such cases a pilgrim may go to makkah after stoning jamara the days of the shriq ayyam at shriq with the completion of both tawaf and sa'i a pilgrim is allowed to do everything that was lawful before ihram including engaging in marital relation after performing tawaf and sa'i he returns to mina to spend the nights of the 11th 12th and 13th he or she however has ten mid spend two nights instead a verse in the holy quran states that واذكر الله في ايام معدودات ف 
فمن تعجل في يومين فلا إثم عليه ومن تأخر فلا إثم عليه لمن اتقى واتقوا الله واعلموا أنكم إليه تحشرون And remember Allah during a specific number of days, then however hasten his departure in two days, there is no sin upon him, and however delays until the third, there is no sin upon him, for him who fears Allah, and fear Allah, and know that unto him you will be gathered. A pilgrim should stone the three jamra during the days on which he stay in Mina. Each one should be stoned accompanied by Thakbir. He stops after the smallest and middle jamra to make supplications dua facing Kaaba. But he should not stop the make supplications after the first jamra means jamra al-aqba. He should avoid causing crowdness or harming others by such manners like pushing or the like. It is not permissible is to walk to jamra writing however is permissible. He who has an intending to live within two days should stone the three jamra in the second day, the twelfth day, and leave Mina before the sunset time. Had pilgrim been in Mina after the sunset time, he should stay three for the night and stone jamra on the thirteenth, unless he had made all the arrangement to live. In such case, it is permissible to live. Farewell Tawaf Tawaf Alvida The journey of Hajj takes the pilgrims back to Mecca, where the pilgrims have to perform Tawaf around the ancient house Kaaba. Having completed all the rituals of Hajj, Tawaf Alvida should be performed as the last as the last one of the rituals. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him stated that a pilgrim should not live before going the ancient house menstruating women and women experiencing postnatal discharge not obliged to perform tawaf al-wada going to madina visiting the prophet mosque Madina is the city which the prophet muhammad peace be upon him migrated to establish the islamic state The mosque of Medina is one of the three mosques to which a person should travel while he and she should not to any other mosque. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him stated that not to travel for visiting except for three mosques Masjid al-Haram, my mosque and Masjid al-Aqsa. A pilgrim goes to Medina before or after Hajj but that does not he not any obligation imposed on him or her. It is sunnah. Visiting the mosque of the Prophet is Sunnah. It is not associate to a specific time and event. It is not even associate to Hajj. Having been granted the chance to come to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for Hajj, a pilgrim should visit the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. For intense, a pilgrim seizes the chance to spend some time for visiting the Prophet mosque and praying in it. Prayer there is better than a thousand prayers elsewhere except in the holy mosque in Mecca. After prayer, a pilgrim should pay his salam. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, entering into the mosque you should step with the right foot saying the name of Allah and peace upon the Prophet Muhammad either to recite an invocation like in the name of Allah. peace be upon the prophet muhammad as well as one should ask almighty allah for his great mercy and dua to be recited is a'udhu billahi al-azim wa wajhihi al-kareem wa sultanihi al-qadeem min ash-shaytan ar-rajim allahumma iftah li abwaab rahmatik o allah i seek refuge from shaitan i ask you to grant me your mercy this dua is applicable when entering any mosque A pilgrim should pray a prayer of two unit as salutation prayer for the mosque. This prayer should perform in rauda of the mosque, having been unable to pray. There he and she may pray anywhere else. You should go to the grave of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and stand before it. Politely, you should face the grave 
of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and greet him saying السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم آته الوسيلة والفضيلة وابعثه المقام المحمود الذي وعدته اللهم اجزه عن أمته أفضل الجزاء May the peace, mercy and blessing of Allah be upon you O Prophet, may Allah grant you good reward on behalf of your people May Allah grant you the greatest reward for leading this nation into the right path. You should move slightly to the right to stand in front of the grave of Abu Bakr. May Allah be pleased with him. You should greet him and pray for him, asking Almighty Allah to grant him mercy and forgiveness. You should move slightly to the right again to stand in front of grave of Umar ibn al-Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. You should greet him and pray for him, asking Almighty Allah to grant him mercy and forgiveness. Some visitors commit many mistakes which could be counted among innovated acts. These mistakes included acting toward the window of the sacred chamber where the Prophet rests or the walls of the mosque in manner of entreaty, facing the grave during Dua, which is wrong. Dua should be made while facing Kaaba. The visitors then should visit the graves in al baqi which included the graves of many companions of the Prophet, among whom Uthman bin Affan is buried. The graves of the martyrs of Uhud should be visited. The grave of Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib is among them. When visiting the graves, you should greet them in the manner of Salam, saying, السلام عليكم أهل الديار من المؤمنين والمسلمين وإنا إن شاء الله بكم لاحقون نسأل الله لنا ولكم العافية Greeting you Muslim and Mumins Inhabitants of these houses We are the followers Good willing We ask Almighty Allah to grant us and you forgiveness and good state of being Dear brother in Islam It is Sunnah that you maintain your ablution means wudu and go to Koba mosque which is the first mosque established in the islamic state it is sunnah that you do as the prophet did either to visit the mosque and pray there no other place and mosque in Medina should be visited a person should not make any effort to move to such a place where no reward is known we ask almighty allah to help us make a proof pilgrimage and grant it to us as well we ask him to forgive our sins and reward our say Allah has power over everything. Dear brother in Islam, you are most welcome in Saudi Arabia and the land of the two holy mosques. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة